update for the Abaha Coil project and right now I have the well the same Abaha Coil that has a one internal and one external external channel and I'm using the 447 plus an age bridge uh, and the Abaha Coil is connected to the age bridge as a load is shorted in the age bridge but there is one thing different here um, this Abaha Coil uh, one channel the internal channel is connected uh, in a way that opposes the external channel. So when the current goes to the internal channel, it, it goes, let's say, clockwise, and and then goes to, ex to the external channel counterclockwise. So and vice versa because I'm using alternating current. This has an interesting effect in the Abaha coil because it concentrates the magnetic field inside of the Abaha coil. This is a magnetic field detector, and I almost get nothing external, but in the center there seems to be a lot of magnetic fields. Wow. And there is one thing interesting about this because it seems to work very well with this pickup coil, this half sphere pickup coil. If I put this half sphere here, I can connect this fifth less one side and I'm going to connect the other side it's quite bright it's only using 12 volts and above 20 milliamps but there's another thing interesting about this I can remove this this wire from the pickup coil put my hand on it and short it using my body and it seems to be quite bright, almost bright as before and my body may not be working as a resistor but as a capacitor in the circuit and that's why it seems to be working and I'm not, uh, not uh, let's say, getting harmed in this process it's interesting to notice and it's hard to do this because uh, when the Abaha coil works in that way uh, it only works in a very narrow frequency, so it's difficult to find this frequency. Well, that's it for this update.